What's good, y'all? It's your boy TC. I got a message for y'all. Something that's been weighing heavy on my mind. Something that I wanted to share with y'all. But at the end of the day, if you like, please um, like and subscribe. You know, because I'm giving out content that's really all that's on my mind. This YouTube stuff is something that I'm doing extra. I got something on the side that I'm doing that's really kind of helping me, you know, take things off. And I want to kind of, you know, relay the message. But anyway, the topic for today uh, is... <clears throat> the top five things you need to incorporate in your life for organic growth and what i mean what i mean by organic growth is i'm not talking about that donald trump's pops blessing him with that cheese to kick start his career i'm not talking about a trust fund baby i'm not talking about none of that i'm talking about coming from nothing you know and even if you got a little bit of something you're trying to create something from within i can help you with that as well but at the end of the uh I do want to let you guys know that I will be reading off of uh, a kind of a list that I have on the side just because I put a lot of research. So I do want to make sure that I'm giving you guys a thorough information um, so that you guys can understand. But let's kick it off. Number one, uncomfortability. Putting yourself in all uncomfortable situations. What does that mean? If you don't like to give presentations, if you don't like to be in front of people and talk, anytime that opportunity presents itself, you better be doing it. Why? You have to increase your weaknesses. You have to consciously be getting better at your weaknesses because guess what? Your opponent is watching your weaknesses. The stronger you make your weaknesses, the harder it is to beat you. That's in any game. That's life. So if you are continuously getting better and it's harder to beat you, even though that's your weakness, guess what? To somebody else, that's not a weakness. That actually might, they, they might think that's a strength of yours. And that's why when you interview and you have these conversations with people where you want to get an opportunity, what do you do? You make your weakness sound as strong as you possibly can. Why? Because that looks attractive. But that's how you have to incorporate it in your lifestyle. Okay, so let's talk about number two networking putting yourself in all types of networking situations and i'm not talking about with everybody i'm talking about with people that it makes sense people that you're interested in learning about people who you aspire to be people who have a path that you are inspired by if you see those individuals out shake their hand i'm gonna give you an example i'm gonna try to make this story as short as i possibly can when i was in high school when i was on my way to high school i was 13 years old my pops we figuring out what high school I want to go to. What does he do? We And I, I play multiple sports as well. So um, anytime there was a high school playing in a tournament, we on our way there. So we get there. It happened to be the three high schools that I was evaluating there. So there was two teams playing. One of the teams that I, was, that, that I actually ended up going to was in the bleachers or the stands. So <clears throat> we, sitting on, we sitting down. Halftime comes. My pop's like, Go shake the coach's hand. Tell him that you'll be attending the school. I'm like, what? What do you mean? Go shake his hand. Tell him that you'll be attending the school. <laughs> I'm like, stop playing. I'm serious. And if anybody know my pops, they know he is serious as he get, especially as a young. And I'm an adult now, so it's a little different. We cool. Da 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 da. But I earn that. Everything is earned, not given. What do I do? I get up, build that connection. Next day, he calls me. Tim, we have these practices, this day, these dates. I pull up those dates. Me and my dad show up together. We're watching uh, the, the varsity play. He throws me in. Tim getting a three-man weave. I get the ball. I'm coming down. Boom, dunk it. Is he in the ninth grade? Let me see his birth certificate. Yeah, buddy. I'm in the ninth grade. Anyway, I've always been ahead of, like, I've always and, that's something I appreciate Pops for. Shout out Pops. Always kept me ahead of the game. We was training on another level. I, I never played AAU in my age group. I always played a year or two years ahead. Always. So we was always moving forward. But anyway, we was a different level at a young age. But back to the story. Come down, dunk it. Varsity coach, get on the phone with the head football coach, the varsity football coach. Come check out practice. They meet and blah, 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 blah. He meet up with my pops. Hey, we want to bring Tim out to practice. I practice with them. I'm on the varsity squad. I haven't even been. I 
haven't even enrolled in the school yet and I'm, I'm on varsity football and basketball. This is what's crazy to me. But this is what, when they, uh, when they walk and jog, when they jog sprint, this is when that was really, when it really came into play. It's when the opportunity presented itself. So I was really doing that, showing them that I was willing to outwork anybody. Any, if you want an opportunity, show that you're willing to outwork anybody and you'll get the opportunity. Trust and believe every single time. Now, there might be other factors involved that you might not qualify for, but if you have the qualifications, it's different. Back to the story. I'm out with the, I get an opportunity to go to the, the Saginaw Valley football camp at the university, stay in the dorms for a week for free, don't have to pay for none of that. Um, sophomore year, by playing football there, I ended up getting a, a scholarship to, uh, to play at Toledo. That built off to me getting an opportunity to play at Purdue University. Once I finished school at Purdue University, I got an opportunity to work for a Fortune 50 company. So making really good money. So the point is, networking gets you there. Three, remove all distractions. If you aren't aware of distractions, are you or, or you aren't conscious of all of your distractions, isolate yourself from everybody. Why do you say do this, Tim? And I'm not talking about your family. I'm talking about people around you. And your friends have to understand this. And you have to break it down to them because you have to figure out who you are. You got to be selfish with yourself. You can't just be giving yourself up to everybody for free. You got to figure out who you are first before you can do that. Because then it makes sense. Now you're not out here just wasting your time. So remove all distractions. When you are removing all of these distractions, you are going to lose friends. It is going to hurt your feelings. People are going to call you weird. People are going to look at you differently. People aren't going to understand you. But you know what? So, who cares? Don't nobody care. <laughs> you know? You should not, I mean, I'm not sorry, don't say, don't say, don't nobody care, but you should not care. Because guess what? If you go broke, if something happens to you, who deals with that? Everybody that was judging you or you? Focus on you, King. Focus on you. But at the end of the day, once you get on track, then you can, you know, Get back into the friend groups, do all the things that you was doing before. But at but first, you got to figure out who you are. So you have to remove all distractions. You have to isolate yourself. You have to figure, because you have to see things differently than everybody else. How do you do that? Remove yourself from everybody else. Because when you're around everybody else, you have everybody else's perspective. You got to put yourself in environments by yourself. When you by yourself, then you start to create your own opinion, not the crowds. Stop being a follower. That's impractical. As a man, that's impractical. <laughs> impractical. Four. Become a sponge. Absorb any information around you. I don't care if it's a bum to a billionaire. You can learn from anybody. The moment you stop thinking you know it all is the moment you finally learn. Damn. That's facts. As a young adult, you're always going to think you know more than the person is giving you information because you don't know life yet. You have had experiences. So you think, especially when you get lucky in a few situations, you think you know it all. Or you got to a certain path by doing whatever you wanted to do. That's fair. That's fine. It works like that sometimes. Sometimes you get lucky. You know, I clap it up for them people. But... <laughs> Everybody else, what do they deal with? <laughs> so, becoming a sponge is so special because let's talk about a bad situation. Somebody that's a bad influence is giving me advice. I'm gonna listen and I'm gonna say I'm never gonna do what they told me. I'm gonna note exactly what they told me that they that I should do and I'm not gonna do it. For instance, if an unmarried man tried to tell me something about a relationship that I was in. I would laugh. No, not laugh, sorry. I would absorb the information. I would take the note down and I would put it in my phone. 
I would say, he told me this about this relationship. And I'm going to put, ha 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 ha, never do this shit. That is the lesson that I learned. So notice, jot it in my brain. I learned something. At the end of the day, you call it what you want to call it, but it's still learning. Positive situation. People who are giving you feedback, you better note it down. You meet somebody that's worth meeting, they giving you information, you better have a note. You better use your notes on your phone or your or pen and paper. I'm old school with it. I like pen and paper, but I got my notes on my phone because I'm in a whip. Um, and five. Force yourself to work out. What does workout do? You, when you're, whenever you're in the gym and you're lifting weights or you're pushing or whatever you're pulling, whatever you're doing, it's against resistance. Resistance is life. It teaches you not to quit. When things get tough, when you push through, you see results. Then you get in the gym and the gym is the quickest way you see the results. And when you get in the mirror, you're looking at yourself like, whoa, I ain't know I was doing that to myself. That's like a, like almost like a tangible view because outside of that, you're not gonna be able to like on your life until like, you know, time, like you, cause you have to be, it's, you know, it's a period of patience that you gotta put yourself through. And that period can be long, whether it's college, whether it's high school, whether it's, you know, you're in a position, whatever it is, patience. So when you're working out, when you see those results, you're like, okay, damn, last week I worked my butt off. I wanted to quit every single day, an hour, a half an hour in, but I went a whole hour. And then look at your body. You're like, whoa. So that's a lesson in life that it teaches you as long as you get the message. But you gotta be able to correlate these things, you know? Instances, situations that occur in life, you gotta relate it to something. You gotta figure out what the message is and why. It's important, but those are the five, you know, organic growth topics that you need to incorporate in your lifestyle to, you know, actually see, you know, really, if you want to see instant growth, not, not all the time it's going to be instant, but this is the fastest way you're going to be able to see it. Um, so, like I said, this is kind of like, you know, you got the meat, which is your passion. On the, like let's we, we, let's talk about a plate of food. You got the protein, which is your passion, and the sides. Those are just the thing. Those are the five. Those are the five things you have to add. Those are the sides. The five things that I mentioned today. Those are the sides that you got to add to your burning passion. That's your meal. The goal to eat, right? But. Appreciate y'all, you know, tuning in, checking out the message that I had to say. I got to pop off back into some work because, you know, money always calling. But feel free to let me know what y'all what y'all think, you know, um, in the comment section. Please, you know, if there's another topic that y'all are uh, interested in or if there's something that y'all want me to mention, let me know because I want to talk about anything that's on top of my mind. But add me on IG at Timmy Kason. Appreciate it. I'm out.